Well, hi, Jamie. Hey, sweetie. Okay, so you know, I've known you for a long time, and I'm pretty sure I know what you're thinking at all times. So let's play a game, and I want to see if I can read your mind. Okay, how's that? Okay, so you wrote a bunch of words on cards. I'm going to guess what you wrote. All right. Are、okay, you ready? Here we go.、Mm -hmm. All right, it's going to be great.、Uh, coffee. Chipotle. 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 Burritos. Tacos. How'd I do? Uh, not so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, hello everyone. We're David and Jamie from the Rooted Marriage, the online marriage ministry from Stonebriar Community Church. And you know, after 20 years of dating and being married, you'd think that I could read Jamie's mind. <laughs> and if I could just have one superpower, I would love to be able to communicate telepathically with David. Imagine all the texts and phone calls from the grocery store that we could save on if I could just communicate to him in a way that we understood each other. That's true. You know, since we can't read each other's minds, we have to do the work of communication to understand and know each other well.、Mm -hmm. We've always appreciated the work of relationship researcher Dr. David Olson. He identifies four unique components of good communication. Now, in a previous post, we talked about the first component. It was making our spouse's heart and mind feel safe to help us deal with issues when we're not in conflict. So next, Dr. Olson affirms that in a relationship where both couples practice assertiveness, they have greater connection and more effective communication. Now, assertiveness is asking clearly and directly for what you need. But assertiveness is not just declaring how you feel. Assertiveness is explaining how your spouse can serve and meet your real needs. And assertiveness is not just demanding things as an excuse to guilt or manipulate your partner.、Mm -hmm. Now let's just use this as an example. If I come home at the end of a long or bad day, I can mess with Jamie and find things that she hasn't done right to find relief from my own frustration. That's kind of nitpicking. Or I can be assertive and share with her that I'm feeling. Tired and spent, and ask, "Could you please help me recharge? I don't have much to give right now." That is both honest and vulnerable, and helps set Jamie up to care for me. And in Galatians five thirteen, Paul says it this way: "For you were called to freedom; only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for selfishness, but through love serve one another."、Mm -hmm. Remember that God's grace always gives us the freedom to be candid. To speak our minds and vulnerable to share our hearts, assertiveness is a way to cultivate and protect that freedom in our marriage relationship by being clear and giving our spouse the opportunity to care for us. For more weekly tips from experts and God's timeless truth from Scripture, we invite you to join us at the Rooted Marriage on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, we are praying for you and your marriage. Till, Till next time. time.